Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Man, I'm out here on this three and a half, four acre property. I get the Ferris Z3X out. I'm just zooming along, getting this grass cut, just enjoying this nice, beautiful Saturday. And about 10 minutes in, the blades start vibrating, the front end starts shaking, and I'm like, what is going on? I shut the blades off, I pull the mower over here, box truck, to check it out, and man, I got some bad news. The Z3X, it's down right now, man. 400 hours, and it just went down. Let's see what's going on with it. I'm hearing all this vibration, right? So I bring it over to the box truck, and look at this. I find a piece of the belt laying on the deck, just right there, you know? So I check out the belt. Sure enough, there's some chunks out of the belt. The belt shot. Now look at this. 397 hours right now on this machine. So I bought this mower brand new and I thought, you know what? I always buy belts for backup just in case. Like with the Toro mowers, look at this over here. Look at this. It'll fit a Toro, but not a Ferris. I always have a backup belt, but I said, you know, this is a brand new mower. There's no way I'll put enough hours on it to, uh, to need a belt or to replace a belt. Well, that was a big mistake. Always have spare parts laying around. It's Saturday, the dealer's closed, and guess what? I gotta wait till Monday and hope Man, I'm hoping that they have a, that they have a belt so I can get back up and running. If not, it may be a few days. So my mistake, definitely gonna learn from it. I always have spare parts. I got filters, oil filters, air filters, um, you know, trimmer line, trimmer accessories, parts, things like that. Everything to keep going, but except for the most important thing, a belt for the Ferris mower. But uh, Anyways, man, that's just part of the lawn care life. That's God's way of saying, hey, you worked hard this week. It's time to just shut it down, go home, and uh, enjoy time with family. So that's what I'm going to do. I got my buddy out here. He's finishing up the backyard after we get in here. We're heading to the house. We're calling it a day, and we're not going to worry about it until Monday. Real quick, while I got you guys in the box truck, today we did um, a little bit of clean up uh, trim some shrubs pull some weeds out of beds things like that now this box truck's 20 feet long i can fit three zero turns in here with no problem but uh, i normally just had the two in here so i can utilize the space up front for tools and belts which i don't have <laughs> and uh, i put my lawn bags up there so let's check that out real quick anytime i'm pulling weeds trimming shrubs I had the Toro collapsible barrel in here. Um, it easily fits up front. I had this huge lawn bag. I know you guys have probably seen it in some of my leaf cleanup videos. Well, we keep this available too uh, when we're pulling weeds and trimming shrubs and things like that. I think it holds around three, 400 gallon, something like that. So this bag is actually huge. I mean, it's a huge bag. It'll fit up front. So a lot of times guys, you know, they're thinking, I can't run a box truck, I can't run, a, run an enclosed trailer because I trim shrubs and I got too much debris to haul off. If you have these lawn bags or maybe a collapsible barrel, uh, just things like that, hey, this roof in here is like, I mean, I can't even, I can barely touch it, okay? I can barely touch it. So there's a lot of room in here. Um, you can actually stack several lawn bags up front. I just have the two. That's the only thing that I need uh, for what I do. But uh, if you guys are, trimming a lot more shrubs, cleaning up some beds and things like that, and you got a little bit more debris. A 20 foot, you know, box truck, 20 foot enclosed trailer, give you plenty of room for your equipment, plus a little storage room up front for your uh, clippings and things like that, if you get some of those lawn bags. So um, that's something that maybe you guys haven't thought of, uh, you know, that want to switch to an enclosed setup. Uh, I definitely recommend those lawn bags. They've helped me out a lot and you know just allow me to uh put the clippings up front when you're heading down the road nothing's blowing out you don't have to worry about tarping it 
or strapping it down. Everything is enclosed in here. It's not blowing out of the truck. So, uh, man, I'm telling you, think about it. If you guys are kind of on the fence, the lawn bags, that's the way to go, um, you know, to put your clippings in. Anyways, let's head out to the back and let's see if, uh, see if my buddy's done mowing yet. Let's check it out. So like I said, we got about three and a half, four acres that we mow out here. Super nice and peaceful out here to work. Big open subdivision and uh, lots of grass to cut. So he's still out there doing his thing. Looks like he's getting close to being done. So once he finishes up, like I said, we're going to call it a day. We're going to head home and we are going to not even worry about it until Monday. So that's what we got going on today. Did a few lawns, did a few cleanups, things like that. I always like this backyard over here. A lot of lawns here you can't stripe real well, but uh, this one, let me get the right angle on it, but I really like mowing this backyard because it stripes pretty well. Got a few stripes over there anyways. He's got the flag over there. He plays a little golf, so he practices out here. Man, that would be fun if you liked to golf. Just sitting out in your backyard, do a little practicing. I'm not a golfer. I better stick to lawn care. <laughs> hey, I'll play some mini golf though, right? That's always fun to do. Play a little mini golf, but uh, as far as the real deal, golfing I'd probably re I'd probably be really bad at it I enjoy playing basketball but not golfing all right I got to get back in the truck here I'm gonna get the blower out go down the road here and blow things off and then after that he should be wrapping things up and we're gonna call it a day but man I want to encourage you guys the weekends here and you know what? We gotta cut it short today. But I wanna encourage you guys to keep some parts on hand. Man, I really messed up. We could have kept on mowing today, but uh, because I made that one little mistake, kind of cost us the day. So keep some spare parts in your truck, in your shop. So when things like this happen, you can get back up and running. If you guys keep spare parts in your truck or at your shop comment below let me know what do you guys keep all right he's heading up here so they know what that means time to roll out toro's gonna be calling you they're gonna say man that dude looks good on that mower toro i'm pulling in here at the house so at the last job when uh, my buddy got off the mower he said hey man i saw part of that belt out in the yard and i said what he said, yeah, it was in uh, several pieces. They were pretty long. And I was like, well, let's go find them. So went out there on the lawn, found the pieces. There were three pieces. I'm going to show them to you here in a second. Show you what they look like. So before, um, normally when a belt breaks, it just kind of wears in one place and snaps in two and you're done. But uh, this belt kind of disintegrated and fell apart in several different places. So. Uh, Let's check it out real quick. So here it is. Pieces of the belt. All shredded up. They were just laying out on the lawn. So I've never really seen that. But uh, that's what happened on this belt. Hoping Monday I show up at the dealer and he has a new belt for me. I can put it on and get going. If not, he'll have to order the belt. I'll pull out the uh, other Toro zero turn out of the shop and I'll put it here in the truck and uh, we'll run those two Toros. But man, I'm here at the house. I'm gonna hang out with family, call it a day. Hope you guys are having a great one so far. I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And as always, God provides.